So the UK has got a Labour government for the first time in 14 years and they have made some headlines proposing 40 new laws that could have some really big consequences for the UK. So here are some of the ones that you may need to know about. First, the Passenger Railways Services Bill. This is how Labour plan to re-nationalise railways. Basically, the contracts that train companies currently have to run trains across the UK will be brought into public hands after they expire or if the train companies fail to deliver on their commitments. The reason they aren't just cancelling the contract straight away is because otherwise the public would have to pay compensation to the train companies so doing it like this prevents that. This could save a lot of people a lot of money in the long run. Second, Martin's Law. Labour have revived this law which was proposed in memory of Martin Het who was tragically lost in the Manchester Arena attacks in 2017. This law would require venues to have better training and to produce preventative plans for such incidents. Lots of people have expressed concern online recently that they've been going into concerts unsearched, so this feels like a needed reform. The Renters Reform Bill. This bill is all about giving stronger rights to renters, and very significantly it includes getting rid of no-fault evictions, which is something a lot of renters in the UK will be happy to hear about. Labour are also planning on building one and a half million new homes in five years, which could have impacts on house prices. Labour are planning on making some big changes to schools. The VAT exemption for private schools is set to be scrapped to raise money for 6,500 new state school teachers. Currently, private schools do not have to charge VAT on their fees, which would have been 20% for other businesses. Labour are going to scrap this exemption and use the money that comes in to improve the public school system. If you want to know about more of these, let me know and I'll do a part two.